They don't like me very much. Really, why is that? <laughs> Creative differences. Tape recorder. May I? Be my guest. You have quite an art gallery back there. Thank you. Idle hands at a devil's workshop. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Yes, I do. That's good. That's real good. I done killed so many goddamn people I can hardly keep up with my correspondence. Well, my question is this. Do you think any one of them people rolled out of bed on the morning of their last day thinking today's my day to die? See? Got to have Jesus in your heart right away because you never know. You just never know. Even if you don't have a condition, you might have a situation. You a killer too? No. You ain't never been in a war? No. Korea, Vietnam. You ain't never did a little, little hit and run with a BMW? You never told the wife you needed to get an abortion? How about that sweet piece of chicken you got on the side? It's three hundred dollars, doll face. Go get it taken care of. No. You got that look. You got that ice in your eyes. I can tell. You're wrong. Am I now? Well, Mr. Armstrong, let's see who am I dealing with here. You married? Yes. You got kids? No. Liar. You got a house or an apartment? I have a house. You got alarms on the windows? No. Dogs? No. You have trouble sleeping? No. <laughs> Liar. You afraid of dying? Well, I haven't really given it much thought. Liar! That's three lies. Same as Peter did to Jesus for the cock road. You should be ashamed of yourself, lying to a condemned man. Well, don't my lies tell you about me as much as my truths? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, do me a favor. You mail this for me. So what do you want with an old bad guy like me for? Choppy. Nice town. What happened there? You been talking to my old neighbor, Bobby Earl? Excitable boy. Did you kill Joanne Shriver? Did I? Gosh, there have been so many. Did you kill Joanne Shriver? <laughs> Long straw, you started to get all frantic and excited like Bobby Earl did. Did you kill her? You know, you're the first visitor I've had in two years. Ever since them behavioral science boys come by, want to learn about my childhood and shit. Want to know that my parents beat me, abuse me, sex me up. I try to tell them there ain't no formula for people like me. What we're dealing with here is just a predisposition for an appetite. Good parents, bad parents, ain't no cause and effect. It's just an appetite. Fuck you. Let me tell you a few things, Armstrong. I am filled with power. You may think that I'm an impotent prisoner handcuffed and shackled and locked in an eight by seven cell each night and day, but I am filled with a strength that reaches far beyond these walls, sir. I can reach out and crush anyone that I want to just as easy as dialing the telephone. There's no one beyond my reach. Do you hear me? No one. Did you kill Joanne Schraver? Did I? I'm not gonna tell you if I killed that little girl. Even if I did, how would you know to believe me? Killing is easy for me. How difficult do you think lying is? Go to hell. Oh, I will. No doubt about that. But suppose I can help you find something. Something important. Something interesting. <laughs> something real important. Really? Like what? Where is it? Not far from where they found it. Where? They just couldn't read the signs. What sign is? <laughs> you know your Bible? My Bible. Ecclesiastes 11.1. 1. You can't miss it if you could just read the signs. What signs? <laughs> what signs? <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. <laughs> Good luck, Armstrong. Good luck. Ha 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 